a highly appealing thought considering the sheer size of batteries. If you are to put enough batteries to propel a vehicle that can go, say, 400 miles or 300 miles, the size of the battery is so big and the weight is so heavy that it will literally take up all the space available in the vehicle. Why carry all that energy on the vehicle? Why not supply energy externally by providing power from external environment? Seoul, Korea. Here, this is close to reality, but not without skeptics. It was a very tough challenge from the beginning. And all the researchers and leaders are kind of, can he really achieve that? Um, there's uh, other people looking at us, hey, that's gonna, not going to happen. You are not going to achieve that. There's uh, a very broad skepticism around us. At the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, in Su Su and his team have devised a revolutionary way to charge EVs while remaining on the road. This is the OLEV, or Online Electric Vehicles. We completely converted from diesel-operated engine room to purely electric-operated powertrain. But this is no ordinary electric bus. The secret to its power? Magnetic strips on the ground. The Olive sucks up power, even though there is no contact. We have a dynamically transferring power from the road, and we have a pickup devices installed underneath the vehicle so that we can have a wireless charging while the vehicle is in driving. Because the bus is charged on the go, there's one huge advantage. If this bus is purely electric bus, then the battery size of this black box will be five times of this size. The bus's battery is more compact, making it light and efficient. At every point of passenger drop-off, the bus gets powered up. By having this dynamic charging system, we don't have to build a, a new investment in establishing infrastructure for charging. Right now, the Olive's still on trial, flying the routes only within campus. But Insu wants to prove it can work in the real world. The stakes are high for him to show its feasibility. Just an hour from downtown Seoul is the city's Grand Park. Here, Insu's running the perfect test. This project is our first public launch of, of the OLED technology. With a clearly marked route, these trams function exactly like the OLEV buses. We converted one of the tram operated by diesel into a completely a purely electric, only electric vehicle. Throughout the park, blue strips line its roads. Uh, you are looking at this uh, blue strip where we installed the power track. Each blue strip has a, a 24 meter power cable. We completely uh, clear out all the safety concerns related with electromagnetic fields. You can touch it, you can step on it. While the electric vehicle is poised to make an impact in the near future, some scientists believe the EV is only a transition technology. Something else may be rising far on the horizon.